Bob Cato Star 7. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. Um, hi. I saw your video about atheism, and I wanted to make a video response. Firstly, just a little bit of advice between me and you, two YouTubers. Um, if you're going to make a video ripping on someone's ideals, like if you're going to rip on atheism as I often rip on Christianity, one thing you should at least try and do is represent the other side properly. At least try and paint an honest picture of what we atheists believe in. You don't have to, but it generally is something that you should do as a YouTuber who talks about this kind of stuff. Because other people will definitely call you on it if they think that you're being dishonest. And in this video, yeah, you were kind of dishonest about what we atheists believe in. I don't know whether you did it on purpose, and I hope you didn't. But at least try and listen to what I have to say. And so you understand exactly what you have to criticize and exactly how to criticize it next time. You don't understand what the term atheist means, really. And the term atheist really means is just someone who doesn't believe in God. Nothing more. An atheist doesn't have to accept evolution. An atheist does not have to accept the Big Bang Theory. Many do, as do many Christians. But it is not required for atheists to accept either of these two theories in order to be an atheist. Now, whether you care to admit it or not, you are atheistic towards many other religions except yours. For example, I believe you are an atheist because you don't believe in Thor. I also think that you are an avotanist or an aallahist because you don't believe in votan or Allah. See. Like it or not, there are many people who don't accept your god, as they don't accept any god because they haven't seen any proof for any god. You also don't understand what the Bang Bang Theory or the Theory of Evolution really are about. So the Theory of Evolution does not state that we come from monkeys, does not say that monkeys can give birth to humans, because that is impossible, and the Theory of Evolution actually says that that's impossible. When instead, what it says is that we, along with monkeys, chimpanzees, and other forms of apes, have shared a common ancestor at one point in history. And you can trace this back, this family tree, into a perfect hierarchy. Now, this ancestor had, over a long period of time, many changes to it that eventually made us what we are today. And by a period of time, I mean over a period of millions upon billions of years. The Big Bang Theory is not actually a bang, and it does not involve two asteroids. It is not only about the creation of the Earth, but the creation of everything in space. You say this doesn't make any sense to you, and one reason is because you don't really understand it. You're right. Of course it doesn't make any sense to you, because you don't really understand what the Big Bang Theory and what the Theory of Evolution actually are. But another reason is because you aren't thinking with what we call an objective mind. Meaning, don't just think what your parents told you, or what your pastor told you, or what your religion tells you. Do your own research. Go to the library. Read a few books on the Big Bang Theory and on the Theory of Evolution. And if you can find some evidence that happens to disprove either theory, feel free to present it. And if this still doesn't make any sense to you, and you still don't believe a word I'm saying right now, then I have to ask you a question. In order for this all to make sense, why does a god have to be there? There's plenty of scientific evidence that says that god doesn't have to be there. We don't need a god to make the sun rise and set. We don't need a god to predict when eclipses will happen, or exactly how water currents change. We don't need a god to do any of these things, and yet religious people have attributed certain things like volcanoes erupting and eclipses happening and floods killing whole villages to the wrath of an angry god. So I have to ask you, why do we need a god for all of these things, which can be explained by science perfectly, for any of them to make sense to you? And even more, why does it have to be your god? What's to say that another person's god couldn't have done the same thing? Now, I saw on your comments page, it says that you weren't really trying to insult us, you just wanted to ask us a few questions. But that's not true, is it? 
if you really wanted to ask us questions, you wouldn't have said at the end of your video, God created everything, end of story. So I hope that maybe just one point might have made some sort of impact on you, that maybe you got something out of watching this video. That's all I can hope for, I guess. Feel free to respond if you want. Thanks for watching, guys, and may the truth always be heard.